Hello all, Eric Specie here, and welcome to the 8-Bit Dojo's first edition of the Taste Pass. This is a show where I will be picking a game at random from games I have never heard of, and playing through the first two hours of them, and giving my honest first impressions, and rating the game on a scale of 1 to 10, based on multiple categories, including gameplay, artwork, music, overall story, and whether or not the game's cost matches up with its quality. So, let's figure out what game we're going to be playing for the first taste test, and I can give you an honest opinion on whether or not the game is going to be worth the dime or a waste of time. Let's get into it, folks. I've gone to all new releases, so there's going to be some weird things in here, as there usually is. I mean, hmm. Another thing about this taste test, we will not be playing demos. Whether they be playing free to play or games that cost money, because I'm playing full game. Not through all of it, but at least the first two hours. Bristol Keepers. It's like a tactical RPG. Alien Slayers. Nope. You are die, hunt to survive. You are the weapon. Project Speed 2. Star Bakery, huh? Music a little sharp. Music being sharp, it's not that bad. I mean, it's a bakery game. Baking's kind of my thing, or at least bread is kind of my thing. You know what? Let's do it. Let's play some mini star bakery. The left, interact, open. So very, very basic, simple stuff. This is just a little bit of a tutorial. Interact, right? So wait, my, my interact button isn't up, it's X and Y. My menu is A, okay. Weird controls, that's fine. Uh, okay, star and star tree. Stars are used as important materials. Stars can be obtained from a star tree every each time. Star tree grows every day and a higher level star tree produces more stars. Interesting. Okie doke. I guess we're still gonna go left. I don't know why I decided to go left instead of right. Maybe it's just like me thinking about Pitfall back in the day. No, it's under construction. Third quest of the order installed temporary tutorial signs. These signs will be removed. Okay. Bread stand tutorial. This is a bread stand. Put bread in this place and customers will buy it. For the time being, you will have to transport the bread here by yourself for the time being. So can I... Interesting. Lots of... stuff going on. We got bread, we got muffin, donuts, and pies, sandwiches, and pizzas, cake, special, extra, and then there's a completion thing over here that uh, I'm covering up right now. All right, so shop running tips. Collect stars from the star tree area on the left area. Use the stars to make bread and sell bread. Use money to expand the store, unlock materials, or upgrade. Easy and quick bread making tutorial. This is a bread maker. Interesting bread maker. I've never seen one quite that sparkly. Select the type of bread and ingredients you want to make and make the desired amount of bread. This bread maker has a limit on the number of uses per hour. You can use the down arrow key to open the decks and check the recipe. 
Don't forget to carry the baked bread to the bread stand. Cut. Bread. Flour. Normal. God. I made bread! Let's go! Alright, I got bread. Now we gotta put it over on the stand. Boom. Ten dollars. Let's go. Time bell and bed tutorial. You can use the time bell and bed to pass the time. Time is divided into two cases, preparation time and store opening. During the preparation time, make bread and fill the sales stand. During store opening hours, you can welcome customers and guest shop. Easy Z, let's go to bed. Now we're at shop open time. Okay. Shop closed and ready. And it's safe. Hey! Manny Star Bakery! But I think we're actually in the game now. I think the tutorial's over and we're actually in the game. So what we're doing right now, I'm assuming, is setting up our shop for people to do that. You can tell I'm new because my hat says it. That my hat in the game says new. Uh... I already bought the first floor expansion, right? Yeah, it's already bought. So why don't we expand into the second floor? I can't do that because that requires thirty thousand dollars. Okay. Cheese bread. Let's go. Do normal, and I'll do cream. What about this? Cream bread. We got cream bread. Let's go. All right, so we made three out of a hundred in the, the, the pokey decks. I mean, the bread decks. Yeah, open. All right, let's see. Let's see if we, we have success or failures. So many people. There's like five people in the store. Love it. I oh, got a little expansion here so I can make even more. Oh, they bought all of my cream bread. I need to make more cream bread. Oh my gosh, so many people. Uh, they're going to be really disappointed though because I don't have anything to sell. I ran out of things to sell. I'm so sorry, folks. I wish I had more. Oh wow, it was like elevators and stuff. But I don't have floor four yet, but it's, I, something up in the top here is telling me to go right. Hey, I could buy. Give me potato, tomato. Um. I don't think I need figures. Okay, neat, neat. What on earth is that thing? Is it crazy, crazy, vibrant, like, bird ear thing? It looks like it's been scarred by battle? What even, what even is, what's the, what's the world in this game? What's the lore? Okay, I think that's all we can do. So we hit the time bell and we go back into prep time, right? Shop close and vegetable bread. And I unlock vanilla. Let's go. And cream. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Vanilla cream bread. I don't know why, but I'm having such <laughs> like a lot of fun doing this. Got all these wonderful people buying all my breads. I really want that vegetable toast. I'm really into that vegetable toast. I do not dislike the idea of that vegetable toast. The most expensive thing I can make right now. Hey, I think we did all right for ourselves. Double our money. 
these people go off into the void, the dark forest void. What's going on with this guy now? Is this like some kind of like strudel seashell crab monstrosity? Like, yeah, I, it's just the artwork in this game is wild. You're just kind of making recipes. People are coming in and buying them. Who knows if they're taking anything because I'm not at the counter. What do we got? Oh, we got steak. We got steak. $50,000 for bacon. Is that, like, is that a Gundam in the background? Is that Metal Gear? Come on, people. Come on in. Buy some bread. We got muffins. We got we got fruit bread. Yeah, hey, hey, come on, come on, buy it, buy it all, buy it all. I'm gonna get this cream bread. So, okay, I, I I see what's going on now. So the vendors only come at certain parts of the day. So we got dinner time. So we're gonna have another vendor, another type of vendor come. I assume. We're the bread toast bakery. Well, come on in. Sometimes we make muffins. There's not a whole lot to this, but it's like, it's relaxing in a, um, like a turn your brain off, kind of. Not necessarily turn your brain off, but it's a little bit harsh. I would say it's more relaxing in a, it's relaxing in a way that, like, I would assume people enjoy Stardew Valley and, like, Minecraft, where you're just kind of doing something, buying your brain. Nothing too super intense, like not playing an FPS or like trying to go through an RPG. Just following some recipes. Error! No! No! I've been I missed out! What did I do wrong? Oh no! There's no cream cheese muffin! Okay. Well, we could do a cream vanilla muffin. Fenrir? Fish? What? What's a fish today? Five thousand dollars per day? I don't have enough. People are already in here buying these donuts. They're like, yeah, we got donuts now. This place is rocking. This era Speedy fella really knows what he's doing. All right, people. You know you want to come in and buy these last couple items. We don't throw things out here at Aries Bakery. Oh, ooh, ooh. hi, hi. Gonna buy some? Gonna buy some? I can help you. I can help you buy some. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I can show you. We got two very special items right now. We have a, a vegetable toast and uh, the uh, cream cream donut. Very very fancy cream donut. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Bop, 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 bop. Normal meat. Meat bread. 36 bucks for some meat bread? Yeah, we're making meat bread. That's literally all we're going to be doing today is making meat bread. We get our tree star, which is totally, probably not a reference to Land Before Time, but I'd like to think there is. Oh, so those cost money down there, but these cost money, or er, star points. Okay, let's go. Oh, we still got so much meat bread left, though. Come on, people. Come on in. Come on in, get your meat bread. I'm gonna try to push some of these people out the door, get my push broom out so we can get more customers. Look at them all. They're all flooding in. Come on, get my meat bread. What? Let's go. All the meat bread. Buy all of it. So good. It's good for you. And it's selling for $49 of meat bread now. Huge. I got so wrapped up in my meat bread, I forgot there was like other recipes I could make. We could do meat muffins. Meat muffins. Let's go. Yeah, never heard of it before. We're first time doing it here at Aries Bakery. Meat muffins. But yeah, we're bringing them dough. Meat bread express brought us in a ton of money. You're a sauce person. 
you don't you don't have any like cool anything what's on a back in the corner there is that an observatory about me i didn't see that before this does the soft person only come when it rains why is their icon red instead of blue i have so many questions maybe that got built maybe they're building a city behind us because my bakery so successful that it's brought so many new people into the area. Huh? I don't know. Master bread maker. Sandwiches, not so much. Need some more. Can't do any of these sandwiches. Can't do cakes yet. So you know what we're doing? Here's what we're doing. Go back to beef bread, baby! All the meat bread, all the time. Honestly, you know, I'll make, I make, I'll make meat bread. I'll make meat bread, and I will post it on Twitter after this. Everyone, get your meat breads. Meat breads here. We are the finest purveyor of meat breads. Boom! Oh, you love it. That meat bread. A few more. A few more. Got two meat breads left for the day, or for, you know, this opening season. We got two meat breads left, come on. Shall we close up? We need to make some more. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for your patronage. All right. Thank, thank you all so much. You're so welcome. Sorry, we're out of meat bread, people. Somehow they got something. How, is there, how are there three people in here in the building when we're closed? That's my question. What are the other two people? Do I have them locked in the basement? Is that what basement one and two are? Ice cream and stuff? You know what? Let's get some ice cream and stuff. Love the blue hair. Thank you so much for your patronage. Enjoy your meat bread. How's it going? Ice cream person. How do I allow you to get more ice cream? How do how does that how does that work? It's a fourteen dollar regular bread, folks. I know it's not meat bread. We really wanted the meat bread. Oh, thank thank you, thank you so much. You know, it, it really helps out. You know, every little bit. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I love I love the hoodie. Love the hoodie. Thank you so much. I grab my I didn't grab my star tree. Oh, it's meat bread time! One more stack of meat bread. What's going on with my ice cream person? They're so far away. You have no ice cream. Why did you sell it already? And we're gonna get to the bottom of this. But we will get to the bottom of this tomorrow. Gonna talk about your your work ethic. If we're over here making meat bread. Some people need a little cool off of meat bread. Too much meat isn't always a good thing. So it's on bread with what seems to be lettuce and tomatoes, but I do not add them to the recipe. You? You all right? See. Seem way too happy right now. You got you got 40 ice creams. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's all I wanted. That was listen. Listen. That's all I was asking for. Thank you so much for the hard work. I don't know why I latched on to meat bread as my specialty, but I just you know what? Doing the trick. Keeping the bakery alive. You know, you have to have branding, you know? What's your specialty as a bakery? If you don't have a specialty. I mean, people might come in and they'd be like, you know, that's cool. I mean, they, they, they do okay. They do some okay stuff. But, you know, you go to Aries Bakery and they got that meat bread. It's out of this world. You should go there tomorrow and get some. Also, we have a second floor now that I totally forgot about until just now. Should be able to go up here. Ooh, what? Huh? Still maker? Why are you making 
crystals, upgrade chip. I'll make her baking speed up. We can't make more, unfortunately. Can't make more. Muffin price times two. Okay. What else do we got up here? This is very interesting. Are we trying to make crystals though? Like, what would we use crystals for? Find a nuts. I wanna know. I wanna know. I can't turn it on. So now, okay, now I get it. The so first floor, bread and toast, dollar times two. Second floor is muffins. So I wonder, like, third floor, like, pies. I wonder we're killing it on. Meat bread over here. Yes, and I know I could make more with strawberry muffins on the second floor. That's not the point. Strawberry muffins are not our specialty. Meat bread is our specialty. It will be forever our specialty. We're versatile. People want muffins. They can have muffins. But it just cost me 360? Hold up. Hold up. Is my meat bread getting more expensive? It is getting more expensive. Hang on. Okay, no, it was just a glitch. It was just a glitch. So if you select the wrong thing, you have to walk away completely before going back into it or let it reset. Otherwise, you're going to get charged a little bit more, it looks like. <laughs> Meat bread doesn't cost the same amount to make as it used to. Inflation, people. Alright, this is going to be the final day of service for this playthrough, though. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's... Hey, it's the barbecue sauce, people! The one I wanted. Thank you. Also very interested to know what's in that cage, because I've seen some crazy things out here. Things you wouldn't believe. The steak toast is fine. Fine. Not it doesn't compare to meat bread. Meat bread's ambiguous enough that it adds an air of mystery to it. That's why people like it so much. Boom! Don't know what it did, but we did it. Made that go way faster. Okay, so it did exactly what it described that it was going to do. All right. Oh, so okay. All right. That saves a little bit of time. That's worth 50k. I'm all right with that. Okay. All right. Some of you might ask, couldn't I just make meat bread with sausage? Sure, I could make meat bread with sausage, but you know what? It's a traditional recipe from Harry's Bakery to use steak for our meat bread. Okay? Okay? You can make your meat bread any way you want to make your meat bread. Our meat bread, our world famous meat bread. Yeah. Big thing. All right, folks, well, we made it to level 51, day five. We could have made some cakes. We could do a whole lot more. I had a lot of fun with this because of the bread. The, the meat bread bit was uh, very entertaining. It helped me through this recording. So let's go ahead, and I will give you my final thoughts and my ratings and my overall opinion of Mini Star Bakery. All right, folks, that was the first two hours of Mini Star Bakery. I will give you my honest first impressions on that game. I had a lot of fun with it. We had a really interesting, hilarious bit we did that kept me laughing and kept me entertained throughout the entire thing. But I am going to be giving you my honest thoughts on a scale of 1 to 10 based off of 
criteria we talked about at the beginning of the video. So, gameplay. There's not a whole lot to it. It's it's just a cutesy baking simulator. I had fun, but it's not really my thing. It doesn't seem like there's like a whole lot more to expand upon. So hopefully in this iteration of the game, and there was a couple menu bugs in there with the baking, I give it a four out of 10. Now, in terms of music, the music was fine. It had some sharp tones, but it was very soothing and relaxing. It really fit the tone of the game. So I actually am going to give it a six for music because I just, it's nothing spectacular. There's nothing that's going to blow you out of the water. It's just, it's very calming and it definitely fit the tone of the game. In terms of artwork, I love the artwork in this game, the vibrant colors, the crazy things they did with the vendors, like the weird creatures they had. Kept me engaged enough where I'm just like, what is going on? So I am going to give it a seven out of 10 with art because they're, unfortunately isn't a whole lot of it but what is there is very good story we're gonna leave story off of this one because there's really nothing going on story wise you're, it's just baking a simulator and you get to hire people you get to build things up it's it's fun there's really no overarching story at least that i was able to find within the first two hours of the game Maybe it explodes and something crazy happens once you get all of the upgrades and everything like that, but we aren't going to rate it on that scale just because of that fact. So, quality versus cost. Now, this is a $9.99 game on Steam. But in this current iteration, there's only so much to it. You can probably only get a few hours of enjoyment before you max everything out. If you're really being optimal, clearly I was not. But... If there's more content to come and they make upgrades, definitely worth 10 bucks. But in the current state and what seems to be available, I have to give this a low rank on this one for a two. So overall scores, once again, gameplay is a four, music's a six, artwork is a seven, story not applicable, and a two for cost versus quality. Now, if it was a $5.99 game, perfect. At this point in time, and I hope there are updates coming to it because I did have fun with what I had, I would say that this game in its current state is unfortunately a waste of time. But that being said, if you like what you see, if these are the kind of games that you really enjoy, these simulator games that are fun, it keeps you entertained, then I 100% encourage you to go check it out. But my thoughts and feelings it is not something i would go out of my way to play again but that has been the first edition of the taste test here at 8-bit dojo's youtube channel hope to see you next time